everyone and welcome to the October Fling Together Challenge. My name is Erin Blair and I can't wait for you all to follow along with me for the next four weeks. Be sure to check out the website to see details on how to enter the raffle and what cool prizes you can win this month. Alright, so this week we're going to be working on entrechats and we're actually going to start with an exercise on the floor to get your beats going. So, if you lay on your back, your lower back should be against the ground and then you're going to put both feet up towards the ceiling and you're, you should form like a 90 degree angle. Then you're going to turn out your feet in first position and cross your right foot in front. Then you're going to just do the entrechat movement with your feet. So you're going to go and one, crossing your right foot behind your left leg and then turning the right foot back to the front. And one. You're going to do that eight times with each foot in front. And you'll notice, you can see the light in between my feet. That's okay because I'm hyperextended. Um, so if you have some space between your feet while you're not weight bearing, while you're not standing on your feet, that's okay. But as soon as we stand up, we're not going to have that space in front. So we're going to do this eight times. And one. And two. And three. And four and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And then you're gonna do the same thing with your left foot in front. To add some difficulty to it, you can also lower your legs a little bit. So if you lay down on your back again, and then you're gonna do the same turn out position, I'm gonna bring my left foot in front this time. If you lower them to a 45 degree angle, you get an ab workout as well. After you've done just the entrechat, eight times with each foot in front, so 16 times total. Another exercise you can do is laying on your back again. You can lower them to that 45 degree angle, lower them down, turn out, and put one foot in front of the other, and then you can do fast beats, getting those inner thigh muscles working. All right, so now that we've warmed up our muscles a little bit, we're gonna stand up and go to our bars. Uh, my bar today is a chair with some cookbooks on it, so that it doesn't move too much. Then we're going to face our bar with both hands resting on top, and we're going to start in fifth position, and we're just going to practice our entrechat slow. So things to think about while we're doing them um, is opening our legs more to the side than flicking them from the front to the back. Um, so we're going to start, we're just going to do eight with each foot in front. So we're gonna go, and one, and two. Another thing to think about is not relying and pushing on our bars too much, it's just there to help balance while we're doing it slow. Uh, so now I'll do eight with the left foot in front, and then we're gonna take our bars away. All right, so now that we've taken our bars away, we're gonna do eight entrechats with the right foot in front, and then eight entrechats with the left foot in front. Practicing those same concepts that we did on the bar and on the floor, but applying them to the center. So, in the first position, starting in fifth, the right foot in front, and one, two, three. All right, now we're going to do eight with the left foot in front. Good luck practicing this week, and I'll see you guys next week.